Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. We will go through how you feel about um, your person of interest and how they feel about you. We'll get some advice for you and outcome also. So let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so all links are below Pisces if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see um, how you feel about your person. Let's see, how does Pisces feel? What are Pisces feelings towards their person? Person of interest. All right, so we've got the judgment. Ooh, so you're trying to make a decision here. Um, yeah, the high priest is here. And it's all to yourself. You're trying to keep this to yourself. This is how you have been feeling. You're not sure if this is going to work, if this is the person you want to marry, if you'll have anything traditional with them, if they're a like-minded individual, if they're on your level, if they're in your sphere, if they're in your circle. You've got to make some judgment call here. Uh, are you in or are you out? Are you forgiving all of the shortcomings and relinquishing all of your standards for yourself and your person or are you moving forward by by yourself let's see how does pisces feel about their person yeah the queen of wands so you can you're dealing with a fire sign you feel like they're very attractive you know they get a lot done they have a lot of energy they can do so many different things at one time um you feel like they're trying to do a lot in a short amount of time, maybe to gain your affection, your attraction back, or you feel like they're very magnetic and there's a level of chemistry and charisma about them and within the relationship, but it's something that you have to determine if, if it's enough with the judgment card. Yeah. Let's see how your person feels about you, Pisces. How does Pisces feel about, sorry, how does Pisces persons feel about them? The page of wands, so they feel like you are just exploring with them. Um, they feel like you're a live wire. They feel like at any given time you can pivot and go in another direction they feel like maybe I, I keep hearing cheat cheat cheater I don't know they feel like you're a cheater or you cheat yeah the, the moon card they feel like when you're not a, when they're not around or when you're by yourself you know you do what you want there's something you know in the undercurrent the underbelly you don't know or they don't know this is how your person feels um they feel like you keep a lot of your emotions to yourself. You keep a lot of what you do or your wrongdoings. To, of course, you will want to keep those to yourself. Um, they feel like you're lying to them or you're lying to yourself. They've been having some vivid dreams. Um, maybe you've been showing up in the dreams in some capacity. They feel like you both are very different, but you're trying to get to this shared outcome. But you go about life so differently and that's where the friction the disruption comes in at where you know you want to go left the other person wants to go right both persons think that their their direction is best so that's where you you know the power dynamic they feel like you're out for yourself there's there's something ulterior or ulterior motive it could be something about frenemy or Something, something being different from what you, you stated is. Like, you could say, this is my friend, but it's really your friends with benefits or your your lover on the side. I don't know. You know, they just, they, they're not trusting of you. What is the advice for Pisces? What is the advice for Pisces? The death card. Ooh. Let this transition or end naturally. You know, it seems as if it's at at death's door like somebody's got to make a decision here what they're doing um let it either end or a transition into a better relationship or whatever it may be a friendship let it in naturally clarify the death card for pisces clarify the death card for pisces 
Ooh. Um, yeah. I'm going to put this is way too many, so I'm going to put these back. Um, clarify the death card for Pisces. Clarify the death card for Pisces. Clarify the death. Okay, yeah, the Five of Swords. Um, there's no winners here because you guys are in direct opposition with one another. You're not on one accord. There is ulterior motive. Uh, there is more so, it's like a game. I want to win. I want to win. Both of you want to win. No one wants to be defeated, of course. There is defeat here because somebody is um, energy, in the energy of maybe, you know, um, self-interest. And, and there, it's an aggressive self-interest. You know, they're not looking at the relationship as a whole. Could be you, Pisces, wanting to walk away. You, you kind of emotionally checked out of this cycle here. You feel like it's it's run its course. All right. What is the outcome if Pisces takes the advice of the cards to gradually let something transition into whatever it's going to transition into? Uh, what is the, what's the outcome? The Knight of Pentacles. Um, interesting outcome. Maybe you come into a more stable relationship, maybe with a Leo. Um, I, oh, dang. I heard somebody's not leaving. You got nothing but pentacle energy. Somebody's not leaving. Somebody is not leaving. No matter what, no matter what you do, no matter what has been done, someone's not leaving. Someone's not giving up. Um, somebody also could be trying to get pregnant here or start something new. It says, don't give up, you know, um, the queen of pentacles yeah a very fertile time page of pentacles consistency don't give up maybe you know the fives are temporary energy so maybe you know you guys are just in this this rift right now it could become very solid and stable between the two of you it could be same sex relationship here also with the two queens on the on the board something about the timing being off you know the timing is just not right right now for something that somebody's trying to bring into fruition leaving yeah you guys are, this specifically talks about leaving a toxic situation so maybe you guys want to get out of that toxicity the unhealthy nature of the relationship um, you're going to leave that behind and you're going to move to something more solid, stable, um, healthy, because the page of pentacles talks about healthy and so does the queen of pentacles. So this is just a, a test of your, your commitment, your will, uh, Pisces. It looks like things will turn over for you. This is what I have for you. If it resonates for you, go over to the website book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. If you took anything from the reading, you can give back. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can come, hear the collective reading, ask questions. Uh, click the subscribe and then the notification bell so you'll know when I'm live and you can come and engage. Thank you, Pisces. Many blessings to you. Take care.